Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back. It's your favorite tech talkie here for a couple of upgrades to the setup. Oh, sh wait, I forgot about my glasses. There we go. So today we're going to be upgrading some ring light stuff. I, I, I put a sticky note on the address because there's a gentleman trying to find my trash can that contains a GTX 1060 to 2080 type. So I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get doxxed. But uh, yeah, this key light air, as well as a one of those, um, what do you call them? The multi mounts, the multi mount uh, system that I want to add, and the pop down extension, which I'm going to pair with this extension extension. So it really, basically for top down shots. I wanna, I wanna show off gear and do unboxings on my stream, which you should, you should definitely come check out over at youtube.com slash Jordan Meta. And before we jump into this, if you guys could go ahead, click that like button, click subscribe. That would be fantastic. Please, please do that right now. I'll give you a moment. First, we're gonna start off by unboxing the multi-mount, the Elgato multi-mount. I wanna add this over here on this side. I've got one up over there. And um, basically, you know, I just want to add this so I can do top down shot builds over on this side of the room and uh, it'll be a great addition. You know, these unboxing videos won't be as ratchet once I have this set up because I won't have to hold it up like this and guess and then accidentally slice my main artery open because uh, I'll be able to just do it by looking down. So, <laughs> uh, I hate my life. I opened it up wrong. I opened it up wrong. I opened it up wrong. Look at that. Nice and big. Love it. Get this thing fully extended. It, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh wait, am I am I loosening it? Righty tighty. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't doing righty tighty right. <laughs> oh God, look at how long this is. One thing I really like, and one of the frustrating things, is it's been like two and a half years since Elgato really came on the scene and dominated like the streaming slash gaming. Um, equipment sort of uh, industry and nobody nobody makes anything nicer and that's really infuriating companies having like a dominating space like like no comp like a lack of competition I hate that I want to see another company like Elgato like come out and compete with them and make make it so like their products aren't like a thousand dollars for everything like you wouldn't think this is a sixty dollar fifty dollar little mount, but it is. But in their defense, nobody else makes anything that is good for any less money than they charge. And uh, I will say it's good quality. The actual like brushed metal always feels really nice. It always feels solid. It doesn't feel like it's gonna snap if I like just, yeah. you know what I mean? Awesome. All right, let's open up the extension. This is just a small add-on extension. Um, I actually got last week or two weeks ago, I got the, the longer extension for that pole. Uh, but I also, I want to get it like fully this, this desk here is super thick and super wide. <laughs> I want to actually get it out to the center. Oh, oh, I just cut into the box on accident. Little flex arm S. So now I'll be able to use the flex arm S with the flex arm L, I think it is, uh, to get really over this entire sort of area. Look at this. See, this is the little flex arm extension. I actually have this one on my other Elgato multi-mount in the back for my camera angle. Um, but yeah, I think this paired, this paired with uh, the flex arm L is really gonna uh, lengthen it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get in there. Son of a there we go. See, and there you go. Little little flex arm S. Now the big boy. Funny enough, this thing was on sale for like 15% off when I got it. It was only $109. It's now up to, I think 115 as the time of the recording of this video. I'll include like a screenshot where it adds. Also, all the links to all of these products are down below. They're all affiliate links if you want to support me. <laughs> You want to make me some money? That'd be great. I'm dying over here. No, not really. You don't have to. But like, if you want to uh, help support the channel, uh, use those affiliate links. I get like a small percentage of if you purchase it using that link, cost you nothing. So now you might be asking, Jordan, you have a light over here. You have a light back there. Why do you need this? Uh, uh, uh. Why? Wow, holy, holy crap! I just shook you. 
Um, I'll show you why. Oh, I'll show you why. I will show you why. I will show. I will show. Hello? Look at this thing. Look at it. Do you see that? Oh my god. Earthquake. Do you see that? You hear that? It's duct taped, okay? The thing is falling apart. It was like $10 at Best Buy. This is garbage. It's going in the trash. I'm sick of it. It's diffusion is awful. The light brightness is, I don't even remember the brand. It's like Best Buy's internal like light brand or some crap, like Sunbeam Best Buy. I don't know. It's bad. Don't ever buy it. It's cheap. It's crappy. And uh, yeah, this just goes to the fact that there are no other options out there. Like these, all these other lights. I mean, I'll be, I'll admit the one I have back here is pretty solid considering it was only like $25 but it just doesn't feel as solid as Elgato products. Like, I don't understand why nobody's come along and been like, hey, we'll make this, do $10 less per product, and then like, boom, you have a, a, a competitor. Like, there's no way that someone can't make like a similar style Elgato product in like market off $10 and just be competitive. I'm actually hoping Beacon, the company that just came out with the um, Beacon Mix, Beacon Create, and the Beacon Mic. I'm hoping they start to expand once they start doing well into other products. Uh, cause they're kind of the only branded streamer gamer sort of company out there right now. So I think they would be next in line to give Elgato a run for their money. So let's open the Elgato Key Light Air. Are there other options out there? You already know my answer, absolutely friggin' not. Cause Elgato has a monopoly on gaming and streaming gear. I don't know how to open this. How do you open this? It's like a rounded sticker. Uh, I don't know how to open this, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, frack, I can't swear on YouTube. My friggin' hand, bro. I hit the side of the box and it gave me a little paper cut. All right, oh, you can't see my face now. What do they pack this thing with? Packing materials? Elgato cardboard. Even the Elgato ca cardboard feels great. What are we doing here? Oh, dude, this is ridiculous. Oh no! Definitely, you guys definitely didn't fall and break my other camera mount. Anyways, I was just unboxing the Elgato Key Light Air. So we have. the panel, the actual light panel that you use for actually creating light. And then you have the back of the, oh no, the base, the base of it, where it will rest on your desk. And here is the pole. So I assume it just sort of goes in like that. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. How do I? Ah, here we go. All right, that makes way more sense. All right, we've got some weird spark plug looking things. I don't know what those are, but we're gonna figure this out. Oh, they're like actually what they are, which is a spark plug. So that actually makes a ton of sense, actually. Oh, oh my face is out of the way. Okay, well, I definitely just want that for the plug-in. I don't know why, they, I guess for multiple different regions, but that's so weird. They give, they give us like different plug types. Comment down below, what do you think? Can you focus please? Like, what is that? Like, what does that even do? Like, why do they have multiple different types? Comment down below if you know. And please, if you still haven't, like the damn video. Please. Actually expand out. Oh, it does expand out really tall. Oh, okay. So it tensions, it tensions. Aha. We are just the smartest little, oh no. I think that's there. It's gotta be able to go all the way through. Okay, there we go. And then kind of stick it between your legs. And now it's actually sturdy. Yay. But how do we actually get, wait a minute. I think I understand. Oh, what was that? I 
just dropped the knife on my foot. Imagine. This video ends with my death. See, guys, I'm risking my life building this for you. For you. Oh, look at that. It, look at that. Dude, what's going on here, bro? I'll, I'll bring it in close. Get some ASMR going. Oh, you see what's happening here? I'm winning, guys. I'm literally winning. See, that doesn't seem long enough to really... I feel like I'm gonna drop this panel, dude. Oh, I guess it goes right on, huh? Look at that. And there you go. The Elgato key light. That was kind of easy, actually. Lit, oh, it's a little crooked. There we go, look at that. Now, we just gotta... Now, we just gotta plug it in and get it set up back there. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Boom, and just like that, it is up and running. I even got the Elgato command center. Look at that. Oh, you see that? You see that adjustment? Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. It can be brighter than the sun. Oh my God, my eyes. It can be dim. Boom, there we go. Let's see some, uh, let's see some, let's see some uh, B-roll action now. Only thing I don't like about it so far is the cable management channel in the back. It's really convenient, but the, it just needs to be a little bit bigger for the wires. A little bit bigger. I was trying to snap it in. I felt like I was going to uh, rip the wire, bro. But uh, otherwise, solid build. I'm excited to uh, get the Elgato multi-mount set up over here so I can start using that as my primary camera setup for top-down videos. Overall... Even though I would love to tell you that there is a product that is half the price, just as good. <sighs> Elgato wins again. That's it, guys. We are out of here. We're done. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite Elgato product is. And let me know if you guys know any other alternatives that are cheaper for some of us who are uh, on a budget. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. And I'll talk to you all later. What?